Hi everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS. Today I will show you how to calculate burn wall calculations for diesel tank. So let's get started. NFPA 20 has only one statement related to the burn walls. So as per NFPA 20, single wall fuel tanks shall be enclosed with a wall, curb or dike sufficient to hold the entire capacity of the tank. You can observe the diagram showing the wall surrounding the diesel tank. According to NFPA 20, single wall fuel tanks must have these walls surrounding them but double wall fuel tanks do not require these burn walls. Let us discuss about single wall fuel tanks and double wall fuel tanks in some other video. So let's take an example to calculate the dimensions of the burned wall. Suppose the tank capacity is 360 gallons with a diameter of 3.5 feet and a length of 5.16 feet. Using these dimensions, we can determine the appropriate bund wall size. Before we begin, I would just like to draw the top view of the diesel tank for better understanding. All the details are already shown on the screen. Anyhow, we will just try to put the length which is 5.16 feet and the diameter of the tank is about 3.5 feet. So before we move ahead, please note the bund wall calculations is not provided in NFPA 20. So this information which I am going to explain you about the bund wall size is based on some other resources. So assuming this is the top view of the secondary containment or bund walls and also we assume that this bund wall provides a buffer of about 1.6 feet on all the sides of the diesel tank in the design which means here the dimension will be I'll just take some other color just for proper representation so this will be about 0.82 feet and this will also be the same 0.82 feet so total it will be about 1.64 feet so i am considering 1.64 feet buffer on all the sides of the tank so here also just i will try to draw the sizing so here you can see so from here to here and here to here this will be point 8 2 feet and this will also be about 0.82 feet and in between these two the diameter of the tank which is about 3.5 feet now we are going to calculate the total length of the bund wall and total width of the bund wall when we add 5.16 with 0.82 and 0.82 we are going to get about 6.8 feet length and 5.14 feet width so now we got the length and width of the bund wall based on the tank size and considering the 
buffer of about 1.64 feet. Now our aim is to calculate the bund wall area and also the height of this bund wall. So now we will multiply the bund wall area into height we are going to get about the volume. So before that the area of the bund wall will be 6.8 feet multiply by 5.14 feet we are going to get about just a moment I will just try to calculate it will comes around 34.95 square feet please ignore my handwriting so volume based on 100% tank capacity will be about so here we know the area but height we don't know volume since we already know the capacity of the tank we can convert these gallons into cubic feet since we know the area in square feet so now 360 gallons multiply by 0 0.133 this is the conversion factor in order to convert the gallons into cubic feet so now if you multiply 360 gallons with 0 0.133 we are going to get about the volume as 48.125 cubic feet so now we know the area and we know the volume so it is easy to calculate the height so if you multiply volume by area 48.125 divided by 34.95 we are going to get the height of the bund wall which is about 1.37 feet as a thumb rule we consider the bund capacity to be sufficient to contain 110% of diesel tanks maximum capacity so based on 100% of the diesel tank capacity we have determined the length width and height in our previous slide so once again just a moment i'll just mention the length which we got from our previous slide which will be around 6.8 feet so this will be the length of the bund wall so width of the bund will be 5.14 feet when we multiply these two we are going to get area of about 34.95 square feet so now we already calculated and we got from our previous slide the height of the bund wall which is about 1.37 feet this is the ideal case scenario but since we want to be on the safer side as i already told you we will consider the bund capacity to be sufficient to contain 110% of the diesel tank maximum capacity and also please note the wall height should not exceed around 4.92 feet or 1.5 meters as a general rule so 110% of the tank capacity will be 110 multiply by 360 gallons so which will be about if you convert this gallons into cubic feet 
it comes around 52.93 cubic feet so wall height equivalent to 110% of the bund wall capacity will be volume equaled area multiply by height so now height will be volume divided by area since there is no change in the area we will keep it as it is 34.95 square feet and the volume will be 52.93 cubic feet so based on 110% capacity of the diesel tank we are going to get about 1.51 feet height so in order to conclude please note to be on the safer side we will consider the height of the bund wall as 1.51 feet and the length of the bund wall will be about 6.8 feet and the width of the bund wall will be about 5.14 feet therefore a bund wall design is based on a criterion of 110% of the diesel tank capacity provides a bund wall height of 1.51 feet now we can calculate the bund wall net capacity based on this percentage so bund wall net capacity will be again same formula length by width by height i mean by means multiply length multiply by width multiply by height so length we already know 6.8 feet and width will be about 5.14 feet and the height or the revised height is about 1.51 feet when we multiply these three things we are going to get about 52.77 cubic feet volume so it means this bund wall has net capacity of about 52.77 cubic feet which is about 394 gallons so we have calculated the bund wall capacity and bund wall sizes i hope now you can select the bund wall size in next video we will calculate the fire water tank capacity as per nfpa 20 requirements if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and share with others Thanks for watching my channel